A blessed day, brothers and sisters. I am Ramil de la Cruz. Welcome to Pathways of Hope for May 15, 2024. Today's Gospel from John 17 feels to me like a summary of Jesus' whole ministry. First, in verse 11, he reminds us by saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me so that they may be one just as we are one. Being one with God, wow, what a concept. Being one with someone. For those who are married, we can relate, right? Being one with our partner making decisions together, complimenting one another. For those who are single, maybe thinking of your best friend and being one with him or her. Or being one with a basketball team, being one with a volleyball team, being aligned, being complementary, being a team player. The second concept is from verse 14. I gave them your word and the world hated them hated them because they do not belong to the world being hated by the world and the people in the world unfortunately sometimes including our very own brothers and sisters family friends because we do not belong this reminds me of a recent homily by father mike schmitz um, from the hollow app where he talks about entering the story of Jesus, particularly his passion. If we are indeed to be like Jesus and be one with Jesus, we will go through hatred, rejection, his scourging, being persecuted and hated by others. Because our true home is not here. It's in heaven with Jesus himself. We know this, we felt this, we feel this in our neighborhoods, at work sometimes, in social media, on the road, in our daily commute. The world will scorn and reject us many times, especially when we speak about God. This is how we also enter Jesus' story because he himself experienced that. The third concept is from verse 18. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world. Yes, we are rejected, but it does not mean that we should retaliate, take revenge. Instead, we acknowledge that this is part of the mission that God sent us here on earth to do. This is the mission that we are completing and fulfilling with other believers and followers of Christ. It's our co-mission with them. It's a great commission. It's the great commission. The fourth concept further seals the summary. And for their sake, I consecrate myself so that they too may be consecrated in truth. They, or we, may be consecrated, set apart, chosen to do what? What Jesus did. What did he do? He served, he loved, and he died for others, even those that were not close to him. The greatest commandment. Now to bring it all together, we are one with Jesus. This package comes with being hated and rejected many times. But the main point is not that we are here sent on a mission only, but a mission that we are doing with other brothers and sisters. And hence, we ought to work with them in community. But to do what? To, set, to be set apart in doing what Jesus did. To offer our time offer our talents, to offer our monies, to offer our energies, and to offer our very life for the service of every one of God's people, no matter their background, their religion, their sins, their reputations, their stories. Jesus died 
for every one of us. That's the mission that He wants us to be one with Him as well. Easier said than done, indeed. So let us pray that we receive the grace to be able to set ourselves apart, to follow Jesus, to work in us, to be another Jesus for the sake of those around us. Let us pray. Jesus, thank you for being one with us. But we know this is not through us, nor through our good works, but only through your grace. We beg for this grace. We beg for you to be in us, to endure hatred and rejection, to accept the great commission, to serve, love, and die for our brothers and sisters every day of our lives. Amen. If you have been blessed by this short reflection, please like and share Pathways of Hope to your friends and family. Again, I am Ramil de la Cruz. God bless us all.